Okay, so yesterday I posted a short little video about a little spectrograph graph that I threw together with some random parts and pieces that were left around the office. Beauty of working in the telescope industry is you have a lot of these fun little things to play around with. So for those of you who don't know what a spectrograph is, it's a tool that we can use to literally fracture sunlight or any kind of light for that matter into the rainbow or the spectrum and we can learn all kinds of stuff about that. Now originally in the 17th century Isaac Newton was the one who found the spectrum originally and then from there other people started to study it more. So today I'll take you just a little walk through about all that's going on here and it's kind of cool. So first off is the heliostat and a heliostat is just a tiny little flat mirror that literally tracks the sun and reflects it to wherever you want to go. So this is a little five inch mirror, picked it up from Michaels. There's three of these in the whole system. This sits on a little tracking mount. This is a Star Adventure from Skywatcher and it's just a little motor drive that tracks the stars and the sun and whatever you want to do. So that relays the light back to the second mirror, which is the same kind of mirror as the one before. And that reflects the light into this little slit down in here. Now yesterday that was made out of business cards. Today we upped it to razor blades, which give you a thinner, better outcome. Now on the heart of that behind there is this little prism. You can pick these up for about 10 bucks. The glass ones work better. Um, this is a glass one actually, just don't worry about the plastic ones. And that literally starts to bend the light. And as the light goes through the prism, the prism breaks the light apart and you get, you know, our rainbow, which you can see right there. And as that travels down, it goes through the refractor telescope, which we have here, which then ricochets off of another mirror in the telescope. And the eyepiece then projects the prism just up on the wall there. Now if you look closely right in here, you can see what we call Fraunhofer lines or absorption lines. And this is basically why the spectrum is cool because those tiny little lines can tell us what chemical elements are in the atmosphere of stars, our atmosphere, what's going on and what things are actually made up of. So this is literally a hidden code that is in all types of light and this is why the spectrum is important. So I guess the cool thing about this would be there's all kinds of things and familiar things out there, but until you look at it in a different way, you don't really know what you're missing. So in this case, we have a whole code hidden away in the typical sunlight that we would normally see. So pretty cool.